Good morning. Come on, baby. Uh-oh. There she goes. Whew, got me a little nervous there. We got us a full load. Head down here to this creek. And we're gonna dump her.
backed up. I'm actually going to see right now if the skid steer will pick up that concrete and put it in there. So we haven't had a test like that, so we wanted to try it out. So we're going to try it out real fast. Wish she was a little closer, but I think I think I should be all right reaching. We'll see. place that or something. Come over here and I'll push that on there. Oh, that's bigger than I thought. Hang on. Man, that magnet works good. That magnet works good, I couldn't even get it off there hardly. What do you think about our new dump trailer? You got the dump. This thing's awesome. Ago. What do you mean? What did, the, did the bed go down? Yeah, we're, we're this perfect. morning whenever I took these people with us down there it wouldn't go down because the hydraulics were so cold yeah as I said the fluid's cold but yeah. now it's warm 
Yeah. You just okay. put it in custom flow and just drive slow. Okay. And it walks right it down. It went down. Okay. Perfect. Wouldn't go down for me. So. I got to go further down. That's why you, when you came down a minute ago, I was I had to come all the way to where I was downhill so that the weight had enough to push, push it down. It down. There's, so. I'm going to have to find another spot on that creek, though. That last dump, it filled it. So. I need to take the skid steer down there and Probably. Smooth you're going to have to do something. We're going to have to find a spot. Maybe I'll walk down there with you. We're going to have to find a spot, maybe knock some branches down. Well, if you go down there and start looking, it's going to take you shut that off and go down there and look. I, it's going to take me a bit to rip this pad up and start putting it in the truck. All right, let's see if I can find that spot to dump. You can see here we've dumped three or four times now. This is a really deep ravine and we're trying to help with some of the erosion. We'll go a little bit further down. Okay, there's a spot I found earlier. And we'll back right in there. Definitely did her. Got your wrenches with you, maybe we should go ahead and take it off. That's a hell of a piece, wasn't it? What? Yeah. I said that was a hell of a hunk of concrete. Yeah, I
All right, we got to go get some wrenches. We're gonna have to take the this jack off this trailer. Uh, it's just getting in the dirt too much and uh, we're tearing it up, so. The idea of that was to get hitch pins to run through there so we could take that off whenever we wanted to but uh, we didn't have those when they fabricated them we just had bolts so we bolted it on but we're hitting in the ground too much didn't want to tear it up so we'll just take it off for now and we'll get hitch pins later no big deal that's the story behind that let's see what he's doing Well, I think that's a pretty good load. All right, guys, well, I lost my helper. He uh, decided he had uh, more important things to do. So just me, got another load up. We're dumping in a different spot now. Um, yeah, we got probably half the half of it gone, maybe more. So I got to take the skids here when I get back, clean up as much as this and push it down there to where I can load it. I got the rest of the building over there. That edge, I'm not sure what we're gonna do along that concrete edge over there. They wanna save the concrete pad next to it, but these blocks are, they set blocks down as like the footer. So not sure how they deep they go. So we just have to play that by ear. And then we got a bunch of sand here, which that's fine. Uh, a lot of it's probably gonna get mixed in the concrete anyway. And then uh, after we get done hauling all this stuff away, if I get done today, I basically need a blade off all of this i guess that's a dozer term but take the skid steer level all this up the best i can all the junk push down there to the bottom and we'll load it in that truck and take it over there to the hole and dump it still got all the rocks over there to haul too 
but I'll probably leave those for tomorrow. Good morning. I am going to get the grease gun and the some rags because I'm going to check fluids and everything and going to grease everything. So grab the grease gun right here. So there's oil everywhere under this hood. There's something leaking on that side. Engine oil. Haven't been able to find it yet. So I'm going to sit you right here. Hopefully you'll be able to Watch me, I've got a rag here. And see how much engine oil we lost. Well, there's oil. The dipstick, let's see what we got going on here. Oh yeah. We got oil. We're good there. But Let's check the transmission. Should be a cold side on this dipstick. I'm trying to see which side's cold. It's usually a cold and a warm side. Hell yeah, full hot, full cold. It's all on the same side, I guess. We are leaning forward a little bit. Oh, we got plenty of transmission fluid. Plenty. All right. That's good. Coolant is good. So, everything's good on this one. Put this big hood back down. A little low on hydraulic oil, but we ought to be fine for the day. This thing uh, leaks hydraulic oil. Same as my other one. They all are. This one leaks right here um, where they had built this. This used to pull a scraper. Uh, used to mount right there. And they ran those hydraulic lines up there to work the controls. Um, and so that's why that leaks. And there's also it leaks out the back too. Uh, right there. I'm going to at least load the first load of concrete with the excavator get all the everything warm let's hope these aren't locked nope I gotta reach real far on this one this is down right here can they give you a long range on this I always lock it and then unlock it oh yeah at the top of the full line we ought to be good on engine oil speaking of something this uh, is the new excavator which I you've seen by now in a couple videos but uh Being new, it does not leak any fluids out of it, which is awesome. Well, the first load's gone. We got pretty much a lot. I think really probably two more loads comes out. But right now I'm gonna grease the two spots that I need to grease with the boom folded up here. And I'm also gonna start the bell so it can warm up while I, I grease. <clears throat> Alright, that's 
that one. The rest of them, I gotta have the boom. I can have the boom lifted up and curled out. I'm gonna get this thumb cylinder though. Right here. And I gotta grease the main pin. Right there, right there. Grease this thumb on there real quick. See if we see any grease. I see it coming out right there, so that's enough. And now we have this main pen to grease, which is right here randomly inside of the boom. Uh, I grease this one up pretty good because obviously this is your main. Well, they all get used just about the same, but this main pen obviously is for the stick. This this right here greases the stick, so make sure we get plenty of grease down in that. This one seems like it always takes forever to grease. So I don't know if just because the grease channel takes a while or what. If there's a big bunch of channels in there that it has to fill, how exactly the grease surf works, but it always seems like it takes a while to grease that up. So that's probably enough right there. I didn't hear it pop, but I probably put quarter of a tube in there it'll work its way through so i'm gonna stop there and i'm gonna put the boom up and we'll get the reason on that Load number one, the hydraulics were very cold. It would not let the bed come back down. Those are one-way cylinders, so it has to push it back. So we had to pull out of there, um, hit a couple tree branches, just part of it. So now 
I'm gonna get as much as I can in this truck load here. I scooted back some so that I can back up with the track hose since I got stuff wedged in the undercarriage and yeah. I don't really want to talk about how wide it's wedged, but I wanted to get stuff kind of scooped out the best I can. So. started digging up the footers for the from the building and then kind of putting the dirt back oh whenever we get done and we get this all graded off all of this we're going to drive that truck loaded across it all try to pack it back down but still got all this to take out along here on the edge about there is where so almost to the track hose where i stopped tearing out that footer the hardest footers are going to be those footers where this pad we're trying to save the pad so um the footers where we have to really work around the pad plus which i don't think i ever showed on camera will come over here where the old barn was when they built this barn they used big rocks to support so like right let's see here's one you can see right here see look there's a huge rock right there well they're going to build a new barn and try to line it up with the edge here so if they have a post right there that's going to be an issue now the other issue we have here is there's one right here in this corner that corner one's going to probably be the hardest one to get out but i'm hoping i can dig on this side of it to like kind of roll the rock out from underneath and then pack dirt back underneath it don't love that but it's like we can't really have the rocks there because they're going to build the new building close to the edge here now I don't know we'll probably leave that to the end and then kind of make a executive call on whether we want to risk to break this pad now this one's like really thin this slab right here and i think it's going to have to come off anyway eventually it's going to have to get cut and go up there because they want this to be a straight line so this is going to have to come out um so it probably won't be the worst thing to get that out with this gone i'm going to go dump this load and then well I may hop in the skid steer and take the skid steer down there before I take this load because there's a few loads that I need to spread out with the skid steer or try to push out so I can get back in there some more. So that's probably what I'm going to do and take the skid steer down there and then I can kind of show you where we're dumping now and show you what's up. So. Yeah. 
see if I can push off this other um, this other concrete back here. We're probably going to end up bringing the excavator down and have to bring the excavator down. So we need to bring it down on the other side anyway. So we'll probably end up bringing the excavator down here. But, okay. footers out all through there all the way around pack dirt up against the back back here I got all the rest of the stuff in the hole I got all the concrete loaded up that I could sort out at the moment I mean there's chunks out there but that's just gonna have to get scraped up pushed down there I mean it's fine a building it's gonna be a it's gonna be fine uh, after it settles out even those little chunks of concrete no big deal um, I got the rocks along this pad out. Um, everything kind of pretty much came up the way I wanted it to. There's a little bit of concrete right here. Um, and, you know, a little bit of block around. Um, it can get picked up at the end or towards the end. I got to go dump this last load. So I'm heading down here for the last, last dump that's coming down for concrete. So we'll find the best little spot to dump it because I as you saw earlier the skid screw I came down here moved stuff away thinking I'm gonna have a fair amount of concrete because it just kept coming and coming and coming and just like Jesus how many loads am I gonna have so I moved a bunch now I don't even need all the spaces which is fine. I still got the rocks to haul but I'm actually gonna talk to uh, my mother and see if she wants stuff for the landscape and he just wants it in the ravine and he doesn't really care. They don't want it for landscaping but there's, it's hard to come by good rocks for landscaping that are that big. You don't get that many big rocks that big around here. Uh, they, like, they just, they're just never that big. So, what does it point up? I'm just thinking about where I'm going to dump this last one here. So, don't mind me looking at where we can dump. Uh, I think our bed is almost down. Okay, we got the bed down. Now we get to have fun because we get to drive fast for a whole 300 feet and then we got to slow back down again and make a turn. That's the last load of concrete. That's a good feeling to be done with the concrete. So now we are going to park somewhere out of the way. I haven't quite decided how the heck I'm going to get wedged into where I want to go. I think I'm going to have to go up here and then turn all the way around and then go back to get through this little fence gate over here. Shut this off. We're done with it for the day. And we're gonna throw the disconnects because, yeah. Disconnects save batteries. And if these don't get disconnected on these machines, they will bleed it down. It has a lot of draws. Um, and uh, actually when this was at the, uh, getting welded on for the trailer, someone flipped the disconnects on. 
I mean, we got more engine oil up there. We gotta to figure out what's where all the engine oil is coming from. This, and I would say it'd be a winter project, but it'll probably be a year from now before we really get to dig, dive and get it in the shop. So hopefully it holds together. All the fluids this morning were full on it, so I don't know where it's spraying. We'll have to look at it more, but we're gonna we actually gotta come back here and sneak peek for what's gonna come next. There's a tile line going to come through here and alongside this um, because it literally is a swamp through this low spot um, in the winter and with all the water running off this pad so